Hey, this is Colton with North Island Nissan. And I want to do a quick walk around video on our 2020 Ford Expedition that you inquired about here. Uh, just to show you all the way around the vehicle, the condition inside and out, and the features that it comes with. Um, let me know if you have any more questions about it afterwards, but I'll try and point out as much of it as I can. Uh, and this one is a loaded model. There's lots of features in it. You got the power running boards that fold down when you open up the doors, power driver and passenger seat, leather interior, a heated and cooled seats, backup camera, whole nine yards net very very nice interior and being the max model uh, you get a ton of space in it as well uh, we do have some seats folded up some seats folded down back here um, so you can adjust those fold them forward to access that back row as well and then there's lots and lots of cargo space behind those rear seats too but plenty of seats in there you get the panoramic sunroof up top that can uh, that slider can go a little bit further back there too um, and they do have some temper control temperature controls uh, in the back Got that limited badge on the left hand side. There are sensors along here and a tow package in behind this plate. We do have the power lift gate on there as well. And there, there's all that cargo area. Get some more underneath the panel here. Uh, you do get some controls for folding the seats on the left hand side. And then the button just over here to shut that. And then jumping into the driver's seat, you do have the codes on the side of the door there as well. And we do have our power locks, windows, and mirrors. Uh, it does have a push button start as well, so let's just foot on the brake, then hit the button here to start up the vehicle. We've got a large screen in front of the steering wheel. It does have 85,659 kilometers on it. Uh, we do, of course, have cruise control on the steering wheel, uh, radio controls on the top right, Bluetooth controls down here, and these four arrow buttons are to change the screen directly in front of the steering wheel. Uh, we do have a few uh, controls over to the left here for lights, uh, the rear seats, uh, and your uh, pedal adjustment and parking brake. Then on the center screen, we do have our map and navigation. Uh, you do get some manual controls down below uh, for all that as well, but it is a touch screen too, so you can go through everything. If I put it into reverse right now, you can see the backup camera come up there. And then of course we have our temperature controls down below. So it is dual climate control. Again, uh, heated and cooled seats in this one. I uh, can change all the different modes and di uh, different temperatures there. We do have an electric gear shifter as well. So park reverse neutral drive, you just spin it over to go to each and then there is the manual mode too uh, and then you have the plus and minus for shifting through the gears uh, and then down below that we do have two-wheel drive four high and you can shift through the driving modes uh, as well and there are a few different driving modes for eco mode sport mode you can see here grass uh, snow uh, I think there's a sand and mud one as well um, so lots of different options for that for different uh, driving conditions you do have uh, parking sensors along with the backup camera and I'll do one quick pan over the whole vehicle for you. Hopefully the lighting's okay with the dark rainy day we're having today. And it has some nice accent lighting back there as well. Um, but yeah, overall it's in really, really good condition. It is of course 2020, so it's uh, not too uh, surprising there. Um, if there's anything else in this vehicle I can show you that you'd be interested in seeing, just let me know. I'll be more happy to make another video for you or snap a few pictures as well. But I do hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.